Hi, I'm Mort Finkel, and welcome to Do-It-Yourself Dentistry. You know, it's often been said that a man who does his own dental work has a fool for a dentist. Well, don't believe it. You can work on your own teeth and save thousands of dollars, and all it takes is a little information, the right tools, and about a ton and a half of self-confidence. Well, if you were with me last week, you remember I showed you how to look for cavities in your own mouth, the two-mirror method. So I'm going to do that right now for myself. I'm going to look for a cavity. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah, just as I thought. Sesame seed. Now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Got a cavity on one of my rear molars. Before I do anything about it, maybe I should just explain that your teeth are very much like this piece of chalk. Now watch what happens when I dip this chalk in this glass of blue liquid. Turns blue. Okay, let's do some drilling. Now, unfortunately, the only drawback to do-it-yourself dentistry is that you won't be licensed to give yourself shots of Novocaine. So I'd like to use shots of rum instead. Two of them may be a good idea, depending on the amount of drilling you're going to be doing. So if you'll pardon me, I'll just take this second one. Okay, I think we're more than ready to drill now. Put the old saliva drain in, very important. And then you'll want to get a good mirror. See what you're doing? Turn the drill on. And let it rip. <laughs> well, that might be a little hairy. So one thing I like to do is to use stereo headphones. <laughs> Little nice music can really take the edge off the discomfort you may be feeling. <laughs> so let's get back to the drilling. <laughs> Just a little more. We're almost through now. so bad, was it? <laughs> Next week, I'll show you how to fill that cavity using Elmer's glue and ordinary breadcrumbs. Till then, more Finkel saying, so long.